Hello everyone. Today we are practicing translating sentences with the verb con el verbo can. Something interesting with the verb can is we begin the sentences with the verb con el verbo. The first thing to think about is what tense is the sentence in? So, si están presente, pasado, o futuro. We will begin with number one. Puedes ir a San Jose próxima semana, la próxima semana. This is in the present tense. In presente, okay? We begin with the verb in presente can and then we need the subject. Puedes. Can you ir, go to San Jose next, proxima, next week? Can you go to San Jose next week? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Number two. ¿Podrías nadar cuando eras niño o niña? This sentence is in... ¿Cuál está en, en presente, pasado o futuro? It is in the past. So, vamos a usar could en la, form, en, el form, en la forma pasado. Could subject you swim, nadar, when you eras, were young or when you were a child or niño. Could you swim when you were young. Number three is in the future, el futuro. Y empezamos con una palabra, when, cuando, when, podrás, can, oh, lo siento, when, Will subjecto you be able to? This is in the future, in el futuro. Arrive. When will you be able to arrive? To the party, to the meeting, to class. When will you be able to arrive? And then the last, la última, the last sentence. ¿Puedo usar su teléfono? This is in the present, presente. So we say, can, puedo, can I, el sujeto, usar, use, su, your, phone, teléfono. Can I use your suit, your phone. It is important, importante, to notice what tense, presente, pasado, futuro. So we always need la forma del verbo and the subject. Forma del verbo, subject. Forma del verbo, subject. Forma del verbo and the subject. 